Hi Capricorn, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Here to do your July 2019 reading. Okay. Um, these readings are a little bit uh, a little bit more extended, I guess, uh, for this month. Um, I'm pulling more clarifiers and I'm also adding a chakra card for you, okay? So <clears throat> we'll see what comes up here. I did hear yesterday um, that there was a specific message in this reading for me. <laughs> so that doesn't usually happen. So I'm really um, interested in what comes out here, okay? Okay, <clears throat> Capricorn, so let's see. Let's get started here. First card out we have Manifest. Okay, so that is the Magician card. That could be for you or for the person that you're watching the video for. And then we have success and growth. Again, for you or for the person that you are watching the video for. Okay, so let's see. Chakra cards. Let's see. Heart chakra. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that that <clears throat> has only come out for one other sign, and I can't think of what it was right now, but this says, I love. So you're coming from a place of I love. The two of you are, okay? So somebody, this is like the Eight of Wands, so it could be... Um, I feel like this is just about um, the journey, the journey that the two of you are on. It can be about communication. It can be about travel. Um, with the magician, you know, I feel like somebody is just coming into their own power. Somebody might be realizing that their thoughts matter, that their thoughts have power. What they say has power. What you say, you put out into the universe, and good or bad, the universe hears it, okay? So for this month, I'm gonna be using this deck, the, the Night Sun Tarot. All right, and that's by Lo Scarabio. I love the cards that he does. Uh, I am, I feel like it's a he, not a she. <laughs> I don't know why that is. But anyway, so let's see what is going on for you, Capricorn. I'm gonna lay out the cards. Okay, so by the way, I'm downstairs um, in the living room and the dogs have just eaten, so I'm hoping that they will take their little morning nap. But if you hear something in the background that sounds like ocean, um, it's because I play ocean uh, sounds for them at night because it helps them sleep, just like it helps people sleep, okay? <laughs> it keeps them very calm. So <clears throat> just so you know, that's what that is. You may not be able to hear it. All right, so let's see. We have, we have the Knight of Cups. All right, so this is a very, you know, I really feel like this is a very um, 
This is such an emotional card. Uh, this is somebody that is This is somebody that is just overflowing with what they want to say. They're overflowing with what they want to say. They want to They feel robbed in a way. They feel robbed that they haven't been able to say certain things. Even though, and again, this could be you or this could be the other person. I don't know yet. Um, somebody feels robbed of not being able to say what they truly want to say. And it's, it's self-imposed. It's truly self-imposed. We have the devil. There is your card, Capricorn. So I'm gonna say that this row down here is you, okay? For, for this reason, What has this success and growth been about? You know, I feel like it's, I feel like it's really deep seated. I feel like it really has something to do with being able to say, I love you. You know, and for this person, it's, you know, it's interesting, again, the fact that I feel like they feel robbed for not being able to, to be able to express their emotion. And again, self-imposed, but it's, it's so built up over time. It's so built up over time that it's. Like the cups are ready to tip over. And I feel like this, this person is waiting to hear, this person is waiting to hear, I love you from you. And that's why they feel like they haven't been able to express this emotion the way that they want to. Two of Wands. I feel like this person feels like they've been in the Two of Wands for the longest time. And I feel like you, you actually feel like you feel like all along this has been their choice when that's not actually the case. Yep, five of pentacles, or I'm sorry, six of pentacles. This is what I just said, really. The six of pentacles is about the balance of giving and receiving, right? So you feel that for the longest time you've been waiting for this person to give you this. And for the longest time, this person, whoops, this person has been waiting to hear this from you. I feel like it's a, it's a good amount of time. Queen of Wands, 
two of cups. So, <laughs> this person feels like your aura is this queen of this queen of wands. This energy of being in this state of, you know, having two directions to go in, you know, I feel like, you know, for the longest time I felt like there were two directions. I, I feel like there's, there's actually one direction that this person really wants to go in and then there's settling i feel like those that's the the choice there's one direction this person really wants to go in and the other is just settling They want to go towards this energy, this this Queen of Wands energy that that you hold. The Queen of Wands energy, you know, is the person like they see you as the person that lights up a room. They see you as the person that brings happiness and joy and confidence to a situation. They see you as the person that brings humor into daily conversation. I feel like this person right now, when we're talking about manifesting, I feel this person has moments where they're literally imagining your story. between the two of you. You know, they're thinking about simple things. Like it's not even big things. They're thinking about simple things. Like I'm getting what they crave the most is to hug you. And you might think with, you know, fire energy, it might be something different, but it, that's, that's what they crave the most is to just feel your energy, feel your body next to them. They're imagining very, very small moments about how they love, how they love you. You may have only had one hug with them in the past, but it was significant. It was significant. For you down here, I mean, this is very, very clear. I, I feel like, you know, this is a, this is a, this is, I don't wanna say a game, but for lack of a better way of putting it, it it's a game of who goes first. You know, and who, who gives to the other first? Who gives their cup of love first? Who can say, I love you first? You know, and it might not be saying it that overtly, you know, right out of the gate. But
but this is communication. This is about who says what first, who manifests truly bringing this together. I want to get a clarifier for this for, for you. We have the King of Wands. You know, you absolutely could be connecting with a fire sign here, all right, with Two of Wands. We have Queen of Wands. We have the, the counterparts here. Okay? So the way that I see the King of Wands, <clears throat> yes, very, very confident, just like the Queen of Wands, you know, knows what he wants and goes after it usually <laughs> but the queen of the, the king of wands is also a visionary all right so you know he can see this the the future success by what is happening right now but there's also a very um there the king of wands is very quiet so this tells me with this eight of wands here, you are being very quiet right now. Your communication with this person is quiet. It might be telepathic. But is it getting you is it moving you forward? I want to get a clarifier for the magician. Son of a gun. Look at that. Look at that. We got the eight of wands. This confirms what I just said. Do you guys see that? So they got the eight of wands clarifying what they're manifesting, okay? And you have the eight of wands clarified by the king of wands. This is about, again, who makes this communication first? You've got, or they've got the communication card. You've got the communication card. This is you being quiet, manifest you know, manifesting is, is a quiet energy. And this is about, I love you. Who makes the move first? This is, this is very interesting. With this Knight of Cups here, remember, this person feels robbed that they're not able to say certain things to you. Again, and I'm saying it again, it's self-imposed. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups for this person. We have Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about their, their expectations. They expect you to speak first. Why would that be? Why would they be expecting you to speak first? We're going to clarify Capricorn. We're going to clarify. We're going to figure this out. Look at all of this fire energy. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Three of Wands, Two of Wands. Eight of Wands. This is about taking the action of speaking, I love you. This is what this is about. Son of a gun. We got the magician clarifying the, the devil. You, Capricorn. Do you see how this is mirroring each other? You have all the tools to be able to do this. 
they have all the tools, magician here, to be able to do this, to be able to say it. Their expectation is that it should be you. The reason that they feel that way is because, look it, you have the King of Wands, they have the Queen of Wands. You're the leader in this, in this connection, whether you realize it or not. You're the leader. They're waiting to be able to say what they need to say because they're waiting on you. You are the one that got the Two of Cups. You decide what happens with, with these cups. Let's clarify the, the Six of Pentacles here. Look at that. We got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so that's your energy. That's the first, really, that's the first Pentacles that we've seen in this entire reading. But that's you. Look at, look at that little, little, scroll that he has in his hand there you hold that you hold that message you hold this message of love that you both have manifested here if this person has been very very quiet with you it's because they've been waiting on you They're waiting on you. I want to get another card for... Three of Cups. This is also clarifying the Devil card, all right? Whoops, I put that upside down. Three of Cups. You know, I feel like at some point in this connection, there was a, a third person. I don't, I, I don't feel that energy anymore. I don't. But I feel like you may not know that there's no third energy anymore. And that is what is preventing you from reaching out. All right, so I just pulled a clarifier for the Two of Cups, okay? And we've got Death, Scorpio Energy. So, you know, I feel like this clarifies really what I just said, that something has transformed here, something has changed, where it used to be, where it used to be three of cups, it's now two. but I don't think you know that or have seen that. This person isn't necessarily waiting for you to come out and say, hey, I love you, okay? They're waiting for you to reach out in some way. It can be the smallest way. But I honestly feel like this has driven, has driven them a little batty. 
Let's clarify the Two of Wands. Remember, this is the choice here is knowing what direction they want to go in versus settling. Look at this. What I just say, it's driving them batty. Eight of Swords. They feel trapped in their own mind over this. It's driving them batty. Those swords actually look like bats. I'm telling you. It is driving them batty. Okay? Wow. Let's see what the advice is for Capricorn and their connection here. What is the advice? Trust. Take a leap of faith. That's what this is. This is your advice. Take a leap of faith, and that's what this whole reading has been about. This person is waiting for you. It's very, very clear. You don't, you haven't believed that. You have felt like you were waiting for them because of possibly a third party energy that no longer is there. Okay, you have held the Two of Cups the whole time and you didn't realize it. This is transformed from Three of Cups to Two of Cups. I don't think you're aware of it. You are the King of Wands energy. They are the Queen of Wands energy. Okay, and you're the leader. But you're being very quiet. They're being very quiet. You both have the magician. You both are manifesting this. It is, they feel robbed that they haven't been able to say something to you because you haven't said anything. You haven't given them the go ahead. And now the advice is to take a leap of faith. You tell me. This person is being driven by batty by this, okay? And when I say that, I don't mean like, you know, <laughs> that their every waking moment is, you know, around this. But in their quiet times, it's driving them batty. All right, so we have past life relationship for them. You have known each other before. I feel like this person over the course of time has come to realize what this connection is. They may not have spoken this to you, but they know that the connection between the two of you is very significant. You got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You know, I feel like if this connection in has not consummated, all right, we're, we're still talking about whoever it is that you're thinking about. It's looking like new love because neither one of you have spoken it yet. All right. Capricorn, that is what I have for you for July. The advice, trust. 
trust, which is the fool, which is asking you to trust and take a leap here. Whatever that means to you. So you're coming from a place of I love. Whew. All right, Capricorn. That's what I have for you for July. Good luck. All right. Bye-bye.